Good morning, it's uh, Jeffrey Douglas of SD Rover, and I thought I would share with you what I've been doing for a checklist when I go camping or overlanding. And this is uh, to avoid um, missing something out that just will make the trip a little bit less enjoyable. Um, this is a sample checklist, so it's a lot longer of a list than most people would have but I will share this as a PDF for you, which you can download uh, from Google Drive. You don't need to sign up or give me your email address or anything. And um, I would suggest going through and taking off the things that aren't applicable. Uh, for instance, I carry the recovery equipment all the time in the LR4, so I don't have that necessarily on the checklist because I already know it's in the car. Um, but I think there's 122 items on this list, so Clearly, that's a bigger list than you're going to have once you customize it for your use. Uh, I'm on my um, MacBook Pro right now, and this is where I usually start uh, making templates and lists and everything. It's a lot easier to type than the iPad or the iPhone, but both are possible to do. And if I go ahead and open one of these categories, I can see that there are all of the things that I want to make sure that are in the campsite. So the tent, camping chairs, uh, any kind of uh, stove or propane fire pit, uh, inflator for my sleeping mat, etc., etc. And the real benefit here to using this system is it's available and syncs via iCloud. So if you check off some things here and then you go back to your iPhone or your iPad, they're going to be off on that direction as well. So I could say I'm going to get started and check off that I've got, got the tents, sleeping mat, sleeping pillow. And um, so you can expand each of these. And as you see, as you go down, uh, for instance, clothing, I broke that down for cold weather and for warm weather and communication. Um, all of these categories, you can customize these and do it. So that's kind of how the templates are. Uh, the way you do it is you go ahead and you put a list together and then you save that list as a template. I have a templates folder and so all of my templates, I have a camping and overlanding sample, the base camp, all of those live in that uh, folder. And then all you need to do is if you want to do a new template, you go up, you go to view templates, and you can see those and let's say we're going to go ahead and do a new one so I'm going to create a list Big Bear May 2024 all right so that's I've renamed that template now you can drag that out of um, the templates if you want um, you know it's fine to leave it there if you want to the other thing I like to do here is I like to pin it. So if you go to pin list, notice that it will now show up in um, your, your today, all completed, etc. So it's really handy to make sure that you want to find that without having to dig for it. So now I'm on my iPad and um, this is a real handy way because the screen is bigger to kind of see things. And one thing I really like, if you go up to the right hand uh, circle with the three dots and you click on that, you can also view these categories as columns. So this is real nice to go through and kind of get an idea of where you're at on um, things and make sure that uh, you're catching everything. And I can go through here again and check off some items that I've gone ahead and done. All right, here we are at the uh, on my iPhone now. And again, you can see I've tagged the Big Bear um, checklist. And so if I want to open that, I just tap there. And uh, again, you can see all of the different things. And the stuff that I've already checked off is gone. So now if I want to check off some more things, I can do that. And uh, obviously when you get done with the list, it's going to be empty. And so you know that basically you have everything. Now again at the top, you can do to the circles. And you can show this as columns. And it really still works pretty well on the iPhone. 
Anyway, I hope that you found this useful. Uh, again, I will uh, link below a copy of this list in PDF format for you if you want to build out your own checklist for overlanding or camping. If you have any questions or you want me to do a more complete review on how to put one of these together and save it as a template, uh, please put uh, that in the comments below. If I get enough interest, I'll do that. I'll also link to a, a video of um, a person that does reminder templates and how to do it, which I think is a really good resource for you. If you like this video and you like overlanding or camping and you like exploring and adventures, photography, video, uh, Land Rovers, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. I'm trying to build the channel up as I move through the year. And if you see me out and about, uh, be sure to say hi. And uh, remember, get outside.